What's going on, me? Watch your motivation, guys. Back your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you guys become the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. You know, fighting in arena can be a nerve-wracking and confusing experience for a lot of players, but you know, when you take a step back to really analyze your fights piece by piece, you're gonna see that it's not as complicated as it may seem. Today, we're gonna be breaking down XY fights from a top arena fighter so you can just see what he does right away. But before we do this, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crime. Woo. And let's get this going. All right, guys, so in this first clip, the player approaches an old fight scene to really look for a potential third party play. Once he sees the fresh metal and wood pieces finish building, he knows that someone is nearby. The player sees the opponent sitting on a ramp. I mean, oblivious that somebody is behind him. He uses this to get the go ahead 32 and 48 damage AR attacks as the opponent builds towards him. The player attempts to get some bleed through spray damage, but is unsuccessful. He ramps up and places a cone over his head for protection and fails a low ground chip shot. After seeing the opponent ramp up higher, after already getting hit for 80, he decides to go for a quick piece control play. He ramps right under where the opponent is standing and goes into a high wall side jump, boxing the opponent and ending the fight with a 145 headshot. All right, if you guys wanna figure out the quickest way to learn moves like that, then you guys should be heading over to watch Benji Fishy Bootcamp by clicking on the link in the description. You're gonna get the chance to play with Benji himself while he coaches you up to Fortnite greatness. Go ahead and click the link now if you guys wanna learn more. All right, so the next fight is directly off spawn at Greasy Grove. The player had just finished looting his house, but came up empty on shields. As he's on low ground, he sees an opponent run over to the gas station to break the shield kegs. He takes some shots with his striker burst and hits for 58 white. Even though the player doesn't have any shield himself, he pushes towards the opponent while applying pressure, so he has absolutely no chance to heal. As he gets closer, he switches to his main SMG and continues pressuring. He's able to claim the wall in front of the opponent and immediately comb the box for an easy shot gun finish. All right, so this fight is going down in Tilted Towers towards the end of the match. The player finishes up a big pot after previously trading shots with the opponent. As he reloads his SMG, he hears the player walk through a door in the building. Upon looking, he notices that the builds protecting the opponent are very weak. So he just decides to spray and replace the wall with his gold stinger, instantly editing until the opponent to place a cone and take the final shotgun shot to end the fight. All right, guys, so the next encounter is a great example of ending your fights quickly. All right, so the player is looking for some long-range burst tags on a random opponent. As he's shooting, he hears another player just gliding towards him from the back. He looks behind and immediately lands two 29 tags. The opponent then attempts to ramp up for initial height. Since the player knows his opponent could only have a maximum of just 58 shield, he's confident enough to really claim the middle wall and apply some peace control. He ends up only hitting for 34 with his striker, but walks in the opponent's face with his combat SMG to quickly send that player back to the lobby. All right, prior to this clip, the opponent had been constantly just running away after getting his shield cracked. The player takes the zip line up in search of his opponent. He holds out his shotgun in order to land the first shot, but gets caught off guard and takes 28 damage. After placing walls for protection, the player notices the opponent running to the right while not building at all. I mean, he immediately lays down some clean peace control and really hits for an 83 shield crack with his striker. And so at this point, man, like he knows that the opponent is extremely weak and simply finishes him off with some SMG spray. All right, guys, Bunch of Chris Army, it's time for the question of the day. All right, so what do you guys prefer to do in a game of Fortnite? Outmaneuver or outbuild? In season two, there's a ton of new movement mechanics that you can use to bamboozle your opponents. Do you guys enjoy doing that or do you guys prefer the classic bit of peace control? Let us know in the comments below and we're gonna respond to some of your answers. All right, so in this clip, it's currently early game in Tilted Towers. The player already has a pretty solid loadout, but it's just low on mats. Unaware of an opponent upstairs, the player tactical sprints up the staircase. As he gets closer, he hears the opposing player's footsteps and cancels his sprint. He looks at the floor above him and he sees the player waiting for him. He hits him for 112 and instantly places a wall for protection. After this, he jumps up and places a floor under his feet, editing the wall to fully piece and just hit the opponent for a body shot, ending the fight. In the next fight, the player is rotating out of his building. He enters the edit mode on the ramp to get a clear view on what's ahead of him without actually having a peek. He sees a player sitting on a ramp behind a wall and trades shots with him, only hitting for 16. He then builds up two layers and harpoons the opponent's ramp out of causing him to fall. Seeing that they're only now one layer apart, the player decides to quickly triple edit and just peace control the opponent. He leaves the opponent with nowhere to go and out aims him, ending the fight quickly. 
All right, guys, so this clip is a great example of why you need to be using counter beast control when playing defense. The player starts out by searching for his opponent in the old builds. Once he sees the visual audio footsteps behind him, he jumps off of high, looking for a chip shot. Now that he's on top of the opponent's floor, he notices that he isn't being protected by any walls. He just quickly hops down, he places a cone at his feet with the wall in front of him, and he cones the enemy using a wall edit where he isn't visible. He then edits through the other side of a fully box and out aims his opponent. Alright guys, so in this next encounter, the player's teammate is on his own, getting 2v1 by a duo. Immediately after he lands, he takes shots on one of the opponents to relieve some pressure off of his teammate. He then builds up to height and search for the duo. He sees that the opponent that he beamed is healing, so he decides to go for a quick play. He drops down and places two counter piece control cones, then quickly breaks into the box and pieces the opponent with a wall and a cone. So this fight is going down in Tilted Towers during the mid game. The opponent tries to replace the front wall, but it's unsuccessful. All right, so the player immediately goes into a Marto's peak and he waits for the opponent to show himself. He hits for 64 shield, then quickly places a cone down to go for another shotgun shot. All right, so the opponent gets his shield cracked and tries to escape, but he gets boxed by the player. And so at this point, he then simply replaces the ramp with the cone to fully trap the enemy and lands the final shotgun shot to put an end to the fight. Alright guys, so this next clip is a fantastic example of working together as a duo. The players know that there's only one opponent left, so they decide to build at the same time to really attack the opponent from different angles. The player then turns around to look for any potential peace control plays. He boxes up while his teammate pushes from the side and he hits for 90 shield. He then edits out and full boxes the opponent to finish him off as a duo. So although they finish off the solo, there is still another full duo hiding in the old builds. The player drops from height, immediately placing a floor and wall to block off the opponent's angle. He edits through the wall and places another to fully piece and hit the opponent for 105. He then moves back to place a cone at his feet and opens a top six window edit to finish him off. All right, so in this clip, the player is a solo looking to clean up the fight. He exits his box and he uses his tactical sprint to catch up with the remaining opponent. He lays down some quick piece control, leaving the opponent with nowhere to go but to have his shield crack. He then places some more counter piece control in case the opponent decides to rebox him behind him. He spots the player healing in a box with no top floor or cone and immediately double edits down onto him to finish the fight. Alright guys, so this next fight is really going to show how valuable proper peace control is. Alright, so the player ramps up to meet his opponent and notices him moving to the left. He makes a peanut butter edit and he partially boxes the opponent, hitting for 55 shield. He immediately moves to the left and he pre-peace controls that tile but only hits for 25. Alright guys, so at this point, he notices that the opponent is hardly building and he goes in for the final full box to end the fight with a max damage headshot. Alright, so this final fight takes place during the mid-game in Duo Arena. The player is confident in pushing as a solo since he knows his duo is right behind him to apply pressure if needed. He builds up and he spots an opponent moving towards him with no counter piece control in place. He instantly full boxes the opponent and he knocks him with the 166 shotgun shot. He then hears the remaining player running behind him, so he turns around and he waits for his edit, hitting for 105, followed by some SMG shots to finish the fight. But you guys tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. You know, after seeing some of these clips, man, hopefully you're gonna see that Arena isn't as intimidating as it may seem, all right? And so with the proper dedication and consistency, you can reach the Champions Division in no time. But you gotta believe in yourself first. Hey, make sure to connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.